So, ready? Oh, that was good. Hey, welcome back to Family Gamer TV. This large red brick has just arrived. Not much clue what's going on inside. If I look on the end here, you can see a Ferrari logo. If I look on the other side, there's a Shell logo. Better open it up to see what's in there. Ah, uh -huh. it's a set of the Shell Ferrari Lego racers. This is set 30194, the 458 Italia. Set 30192, the F40. Set 30193, the 250 GT Berlinetta. Set 30191, the Scuderia Ferrari truck. Set 30190, the Ferrari 150 degree Italia. Set 30195, the FXX. Shell and its technical partner Ferrari have joined forces with the Lego Group to launch an exclusive promotion pulling into forecourts all over the UK from 7th of November 2013 to 8th of January 2014. Shell customers can collect a range of six limited edition mini Ferrari model Lego cars. They've also devised a set of fun Lego driving challenges to test your skills and creativity. The challenges can be viewed at www.shell.co.uk forward slash Lego challenge. A range of weekly prizes are on offer to anyone who takes on the challenges. When you do, just upload a video or picture using the hashtag Lego Challenge. Well, I've finished building the six cars. Um, let's have a look through them. First off, we've got the Ferrari 150 degree Italia. Out of all the models, this is the only one that has two um, final models you can make. Um, there's an extra spare sticker, um, so you can either have a number five or number six car and you get a set different single stud piece so you can either have a blue racing helmet or a green racing helmet um, only one um, big moulded piece um, which is on the, the bonnet lots and lots of stickers though, Very lots of little one by one stickers um, some of them a little bit tricky to apply next up We've got the Scuderia Ferrari truck. Really nice little design, I was impressed with this. Um, for a small model, it looks really pretty. Sort of nice swooped back on it. Next up, the F40. Again, lots of little stickers, but this one, the actual um, front front bumper and lights are as a printed piece they're not stickers but all the other print all the other words and um, logos you can see are stickers let's have a look at the next one this is the 250 gt berlinetta um, even more printed pieces this time and we've got a lot of molded pieces the whole um, windscreen section and rear view, top of the car, is all one moulded piece. The back end is one moulded piece. And the front with the headlights is yet again another moulded piece. Only a couple of stickers on this, or three stick, four stickers on this one. Um, on the sides and on the bonnet. The rest is all printed. Now we've got the 458 Italia. This is my favourite out of them when I first saw the um, picture of the cars. I think it's the bright yellow. 
This one has um, printed headlights and a printed front bumper. Yeah. Single moulded piece for the top of the car. And last but not least, the FXX. More traditional Lego pieces in this one. Um, so lots of curves and um, short pieces. But this one's purely stickers, so be careful when you apply those. The thing I've not covered yet though with these, this set of cars compared to a lot of other Lego ones, each one of them has a motor built in. So if I take this one here, the F1, you can put it down, push it back, and then let go and it will drive. So we can take any of them, pull back, and it will drive. Which leads to the Shell's Lego Challenges. So we've got the card here, and um, you can find this on the website as well, I'll put a link down below so you can see that. Um, this challenge is called Launch Control. You've got to pick one of the models, grab some things, build a jump, and then race the car jumping over it and record it. I'm recording here so that'll be alright. I'm going to have to then um, transform all of this and see if I can actually make a jump. So, are we ready? Well, as you can see, I've built my ramp. I've put four of the models down there to try and jump. Truck's over there just watching. So, let's wind up the motor. Go back, hold the wheel so it stays. Go back again. The clicks mean you've got full power in the motor. Let's hold him back there, see if he can do this. Yay! Oh, that was good. So that's the Shell Ferrari LEGO Racer set. It'll be interesting to see um, what videos and photos come up on the LEGO Challenge hashtags. Um, remember to like and subscribe, and we'll be back with some more LEGO set reviews soon.